What's up, everybody? Early bird gets the worm, but the early monkey gets the truck. Hopefully. We're fixing to go look at this. It's a 1970 F-150 stepside short bed, but look at that patina. That's gonna be a trip. So uh, we're getting in the truck and we're going because this one is only six miles away. Get the truck in the trailer. Sinjin, get all your social media stuff. Oh, I need cash. Tell me. <laughs> Gate man. Ford trucks don't pop up every day. Well, actually they do. <laughs> we bought so many of these old Ford trucks. I'm pretty good at looking at it on the internet knowing what I'm looking at. It looks like all of the original metal parts are to the truck are original with the faded original paint. And that makes it really cool. So this is a 70 Ford short bed step side with uh, all original body panels and uh, I believe original paint, but we'll find out. What's going on, sirs? Hey, Richard. Hey, Richard. Nice to meet you, Richard. Miguel. What's, Miguel. Miguel. Nice Carlos. Miguel and Carlos. All right, so this is what I called about, huh? A little bit of rust up here, huh? Chase, you know what you're looking for? Cab corners are good, but I got uh, rust in both front fenders and definitely rust in the hood. Show them that, Sinjin. The wood in the bed's gone, but that's all right. We don't care about that. What's the story on this truck, uh, Miguel? We just, uh, I think we just bought this picture. We bought it like uh, two weeks ago. Around here somewhere local? Uh, yeah, we, we, we bought it from... Uh, like 40 miles from here. Very cool, very cool. They're still out there. But man, this thing's got a sweet patina. Really does. Does it run or drive or any it of that runs, kind of yeah, stuff? It runs. It's just the battery is uh, dead right now, but it runs. It'll it's run? The problem it has is uh, it's a little bit problem with the brakes. With the brakes, okay. Yeah. So yeah, I think he told me on the phone that it needs a brake cylinder. It's a brake cylinder, uh, but a uh, truck is starts right up. No, I'm not worried about that. Whoever uh, buys it for me and or if I build it, we're gonna, uh, we're gonna swap it all out. Just a beat up old truck. Well, let's make a deal on this one first. I'm not gonna tell you guys what the deal is, but uh, step over here for a second. Got a deal. I own the truck. I'm not telling y'all how much. <laughs> not to buy a beer. <laughs> yeah. I, don't y'all know who I am? Y'all are supposed to have beer here for me. What's wrong with y'all? All right, sir. Double check that, make sure it's right. My mom said, always count your money, even at the bank. So uh, you said you got some more trucks? I got some more money. Holy cow, you got a bunch more trucks. And a dirt bike? Nah, last time I rode one of those, I broke my collarbone. The Ranchero, I don't know. You sent me some pictures of this one. It's very uh, big flame jobs. Why do you think this is a nice truck? It's a run and drive. It's a run and drive? Yeah. That makes it nice in this neighborhood. <laughs> well, it looks like it's mostly complete. Yeah, this is a pretty rare body style. What is it, 65.6? 66. Pretty cool. How much is this? You can take it for 3,500. Mm, I think I'm walking. Another short bed? Oh, we got another. What is the deal with Fords? They always have a dent here. Even that one up there has a dent there. It's like 65 Mustangs. The right hand tail light never works. Oh, this is a little V8 truck. What are you thinking, Chase? It's not a bad truck. Buy it? No. What do you think? All depends on what the money is. Richard is. Toss your iPad. <laughs> 
How much is this? You can take these one for uh, 55. That's too much. I buy and sell a lot of these. What's up with the uh, gold truck? It looks like uh, it's been fixed up a little bit. How much is that? $12,000? How come? Okay, but uh, it looks like we got uh, discs in the front. Is that alligator? Woo, we got an alligator dashboard. And what? Seats. And the seats. I got mechanics for that. Oh, Rhino line the bed. I hate that stuff. Has anybody invented how to get rid of Rhino liner yet? Uh, flames. Lots of flames. Well, that's gonna warp the metal. <laughs> they, I, that's the they, problem. They line their entire truck with it. They just spray the. They just spray the entire thing. That's fine if you're going out, you know, hunting and what have you, but. You know, while I understand the need for protecting the bed, this actually ruins the bed. And people do it on brand new trucks. I mean, you never can get this off. This is gonna be like dinosaur poo. It's gonna still be here in billions of years. Holy cow. Huh? Where are you finding dinosaur poo? I'm just saying it's gonna last forever, like cockroaches. I don't like what he did. Yeah, a lot of times I won't buy a truck just because it has the rhino line. All right, so you want 35 and 55 and 12. I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll give you 10 for the whole backyard. For the whole backyard? All three trucks. Oh, I can't do that. 11? No. Yeah. All right. What about 12? No. Golly. So we're too far apart. Yeah. Now, what about the, uh, you got like a 78, 79 up front? What do you want for that? You can sell if I want to sell. 12 grand? Yeah. Who do you think you are, gas monkey? <laughs> I mean, I think it's worth 12 grand, but. It's a nice truck, though. It's a good straight body. But the cab came from another, the bed came from another truck because it's blue. Now you're at 12 and 35 and. 55 is 21 and 12. Dang gum, dude. You're trying to get like uh, $33,000. I can do 75 on this one. Oh, yeah. I, that's a good deal for me. <laughs> All right, but we tried. I guess uh, there it is, guys. We came out uh, and looked at, uh, well, sort of. I would say five trucks, but uh, really the Ranchero thing is not a truck. It's not a car. I don't know what it is. It's like an El Camino or something, but uh, we're only getting one 74 short bet. So uh, check it out. It'll be uh, up on our deal here in just a little bit. And uh, we're going to get rolling, get this thing loaded and get on home. Thank you very much, Thank sir. You know, my guys are going to get it rolling. Thank you guys. Woo. Hey, Chase, why don't you put it on my Tempty trailer? Shameless plug. Ha! All right, so there you go. Uh, came out to look at one truck and the guy actually had uh, four more. Uh, wasn't able to make a deal on uh, any of the other ones. He's just a little bit too high. And this uh, beautiful one with the flame job right here, well, it's not really a truck. I don't think, it's like a car truck thing. We ended up buying a 70 uh, short bed step side, all original body panels, all original paint, killer patina. Uh, that's what I'm paying for really. I overpaid a little bit but it's hard to find one that's got all original body panels and uh, a good patina on it these days because they've all been snacked up. So uh, we're not gonna get away with these trucks. I think I made him pretty fair offers and he just wasn't having it. So there you go. You win some, you lose some. Right now, I think we're gonna go celebrate with a beer and a taco. What's up, everybody? So if you're one of the over a million people that watched the live just the other day when we picked this truck up, good for you.
For those of you that didn't, well, I'm going to school you up on this a little bit. This truck is now here, Gas Monkey. It is for sale. We decided not to do anything with it because whoever buys this is going to do a full tune up. They're going to go through the brakes. They're going to do all the things that we would normally do. But I can tell you this, it will run and drive. Uh, it does not have brakes. It needs a master cylinder. Those are $23 at your local uh, auto parts store. What this truck has going for it, the good is the patina. I know there's a big craze out there on whether or not you paint your truck or whether or not you patina it. I hate fake patina, so I really love the look of this truck. It does have some rust though. Patina usually comes with that. But overall, for just a Ford truck in general, it's got very little rust. A little soft in the floorboards, hole on each side at the fender, and uh, of course here in the nose cone. Other than that, this is a really, really solid truck with what I believe to be mostly original paint. Been sitting out in the sun here in Texas forever. So check out the inside. It's a little crusty, but very usable and it's all there. Now, this truck has been officially named Tetanus because it's a little rusty up here on the corner. Underneath, six cylinder motor, no big deal. You may just keep the six cylinder motor and go for super cheap on the gas mileage, but either way, it's a really kick-ass truck. I got a solid deal on it. I'm gonna make somebody else a solid deal on it. This is a truck that we could do here at Gas Monkey with a custom chassis, big wheels, big brakes, everything else in about two weeks, have it on the ground and uh, have it ripping. And for you geeky internet Google sleuths that are hanging out in your mom's basement trying to make sure that every word that comes out of my mouth is correct, well, I messed up on a couple of things on this one in the live. I said F-150 when it was actually an F-100, but I happened to be at that point standing next to an F-150. And then it is also a flare side, not a step side. Thank you for correcting my Ford grammar and knowledge on 70s Ford trucks. I really appreciate it. Keep doing it. You're annoying as hell. And uh, I hope your basement caves in. If anybody else wants a truck, hit us up at info, gasmonkeygarage.com. Boom.